This conference will now be recorded. Good evening, everyone. So, in last class, we had a discussion regarding the conditional formatting and we also worked on it. I hope you all have practiced. In case if you people have any doubt in any kind of things, you can ask me. Girls, could you anyone reply me? Did you all practice? Good. Fine, then I'll just continue here. Okay, so we have done with this. You have something called as format as table. So when you're creating a table in the, and you want it to be formatted. So say example, I, we have done this in a paste, right? So I'll just take this itself as a table. Take this area. I'll go here, format as table, C creating this as a table format. I'll choose this. So it says, so this is a table range. So it'll say, you can see these dancing lines. That means the moving lines, right? So this range is what has been selected here. Where is the table for you? Yeah, table. Okay. So the data, where it is, it is staying there. So do you have a headings for your table? So name, subject one, subject two, do you have a heading? So I say my table as a headers and there is one check-in also given, click on this OK. Now as soon as you create it OK, so you can see there is one more tab came, table design and the name of the table here is table one. Let's give you a sample. Sample one. Okay. So suppose if I want to change these colors or anything, you can choose the color, whatever you want to. Since I've already given here highlighting colors, blue color. So it will always come in this white color itself. Why? See here in a format. So text is in white color. The background color is in blue color. So whichever the color you are choosing, the heading remains with the same color. Okay. In case if I'm ignoring this color, I'm ignoring this color. Means I'm removing this color. I'll say here as no fills. Okay, now I'll go for this format, this as a table, any formatting colors you can take, I choose this one, again I click on this, okay, so you can see now, the background color has been changed and text one, for this, I'll give a table name as sample2. Suppose you have a saber, table1, table2, sales data, uh, mark sheet, attendance, you can give any name, any name, suppose here, if I want to give this a name, give this a name as a mark sheet mark sheet or any other things then i will go with this i'll just take here as um, this one dark and i'll click on this okay it says me now it is table three so i will give here as marks space sheet but see this will give me an error when i give here as marks space sheet why because whenever you are giving a name to your sheet you must not use a space instead of space you must always use underscore so see this here Verify that the name starts with the letter or underscore. Doesn't include any space or the character that is not allowed. Doesn't conflict with an existing name in the workbook. So make sure this name doesn't exist with the other one also. So I'm giving here marks, underscore, then sheet. Or you can take it as list also. So no space is allowed. So insert we use this marks list. Enter like this so this is how you will be giving the table name suppose this is your table name this is your table i'm just placing your table design headers headers i don't want you can remove it you want you can keep it here you don't want this banded rows that is alternative colors then you can remove it okay you don't want the banded columns if you need banded columns you can keep this if you don't want the filters you can remove if you want you can apply this so last column, I need it in a italic. See, the same thing, I'll apply the changes here. I'm taking this table design, banded rows. Okay, 
total rows okay then first column bold last column bold banded columns alternating columns filters to apply filters to remove so these are the changes you will be doing here suppose here i'll choose one more design one more design say example i'll choose this one now you can see the difference even i'm applying here i don't want banded rows so see banded rows has been removed i don't want banded columns banded columns is removed banded columns i need i can apply i can remove banded rows you want you can apply you can remove this total rows if you don't want you can remove if you want you can apply okay last column if you remove this will become normal font if you apply it will become bold first column if you remove it is normal font again if you apply this will become into i don't want a total so i'm removing this filter button if you want you can remove if you want you can apply these are the things still you want to change to some other colors yes you can change these colors also however you want you can pick from them any other colors you want to apply that also you can choose okay so then you have this table suppose if i'm adding another information another information i can press a tab so it'll get added again i will press tab another tab like this i keep or adding it so now see the table name what i have given is only till year so you can see this sample if i'm selecting to this bottom see you can see suppose this bottom when i'm having a, another rows or columns has been added still the table name is not recognized you can resize the table now see you can see this moment now you can click on okay the table has been rearranged this in case if i don't want a table itself if, in case if i don't want a table itself i want a normal range instead of table so this sample data one sample one i'll convert this into normal range so this table name will not be there before that i'll show you this uh, see here you can see here marks list sample sample one so sample sample one marks list three are there this i will select it now i go for a table convert this into a range i give this as a yes so it is converted into normal range now see in a list you have only two things one is marks list the other one is sample there is no other data available so suppose if i'm there in a conditional formatting sheet i want to go for marks list i can select this as marks list automatically the cursor will come to this place suppose i want to go for some other place where there is no name you have to move it with your cursor still now i want to go for the sample data i'll click on the sample so the data will move to this place so whichever the data you want whichever the place you want you can just click on that and you can move it on that is this clear to everyone any doubts in this no ma'am good so we'll go for the next part that is your cell style cell style is nothing but your heading names formatting you're giving conditional formatting this is my heading i want to apply the style which is predefined instead of applying all this font size bold italic underline all this kind of things i'll can directly give you as conditional formatting heading one so whatever i want to give a formula whatever i want to see uh, give a formatting style those things i can give you suppose here also conditional formatting i want to give i'll go for this sorry cell style for this i want to give it here as title okay i can give this if i want to recalculate once again or somewhere calculation has been applied i want to make this as a calculation part so i'll go for cell style in this i have a calculation calculation so i'll convert this somewhere i have a warning text warning text then i can go for this and convert this into warning text see this is bold this is normal font okay so see the font size also here it is how much conditional formatting see here see the styles and everything it has been applied normally it will keep on changing whenever you are applying it so these are the predefined cell styles and the background colors you will be having in case if you want to apply this you can apply to that so which wherever you are applying there it will be applied i'm taking here a cell style i'll go for this accent and i'll change this so you 
So margin center not mine. So however you want to change the font style, you can say change here. Now next one, inserting and deleting we will see. I want to insert a row between G and H. I think I have already given you inserting and deleting. If not, just take down this. I want to insert a column, column between G and H. G and H. So always you have to select the second one. So I'll select here H. To select the H column, H column, control space. Control space. I think I have given this. Okay, I have not given. See. Okay, between G and H, I need to select, I need to insert something between 79 and 62. I need to insert something. H, you have to select to select a column, control space bar, then control plus to in order to insert. In order to insert, take down this point. It is select column. Select column. So it is the shortcut key, control space bar okay then if you have to select a select row select row then it is then it is shift space bar Then, in case if you want to insert, insert row or column, insert row or column, then the shortcut key is control plus. If you want to delete row or column, row or column, then it is control plus minus is a shortcut key see let's do here pay special i have inserted it again one more control plus one more control plus so where always if you are in, inserting between g and h you have to select h if i have to delete this control minus control minus control minus suppose i want to insert between uh, marsha and boot that is 73 and 74 so, if I am inserting between 73 and 74, I must always select 74. Shift, space bar. See, I am just putting into one single cell. Shift, space bar, then control plus. As many times you press control plus, that many times it get inserted. Control minus, it will get deleted. Control plus to insert, control minus to delete. Okay. So, next one. I will select a column. Okay, in order to hide a column, control 0. To unhide a column, control shift 0. I'll put it into form tab. Hide column. To hide a column, control plus 0. To unhide a column. To hide a column, control plus shift plus zero, or you can say close bracket. Hide row, unhide row, we will see. Okay, for this, the shortcut key is control 9. This is control shift 9. That is close bracket. Okay, so now we will go for this shift space.
space bar to have to select the row control 9 to hide control shift 9 to unhide the same thing you can also do with the right click you can just select like this right click you have an option hide and unhide this also you can do okay these are the shortcut keys for today's which we have discussed next part we have a formatting formatting is automatically adjusting the column width and this hide and unhide you have renaming a sheet you can click on this rename sheet and rename this if not you can just right click on the sheet and you can rename it and if i need one more copy of this sheet i can right click move or copy when i'm saying here move or copy where it has to move so i want to move this after introduction i want this introduction to move on the top or anything just move this after this paste option see here uh, i want this mcc excel for tableau this sheet is which i am using okay in this the sheet paste has been used i want to use the space move after introduction move after introduction i'll click on this okay okay or i'll take here right click move or copy i want to move this paste paste Where I want to move, move to the end. Then I'll click on this OK. So see, paste, paste special it has come. I want to duplicate this one more sheet. Paste this one, this paste one, I want to duplicate it. So I'll go for this move or copy. I want to create this paste special one more copy of this. Create a copy. Click on this OK. So see, space special one more, I got it. If you don't want, you can delete it okay for each and everything i want to give a color so first you can arrange this also drag and put it here first one home second one is my paste option then it is a paste special after this then i have a file tab file tab which comes in the beginning then the conditional formatting introduction comes in the first part so like this you can arrange suppose i want to give a colors for this right click Go for the tab color, whichever the color you want to give, that color you can give. I give one color for this. Again, I'll go for this. Then we will give a tab color, whichever the color you want to choose, you can choose. I'm just randomly choosing whichever we have used in the previous cases. So right click, tab color, the third color I'll use. Then I'll go for this, paste, tab color, the fourth one I'm using here. Then again, paste special, tab color. So, whichever I have used in a conditional formatting, same thing I'm just trying to give you. So, some colors we have given. So, for each and every tab, we have given a color. So, when you are selecting that particular tab, you can see in the only bottom line. But when you go for the next, next uh, sheets, automatically it will show you the other uh, pages, other sheets color, whatever we have tried. That's one. Auto sum is already done. Now I will, will see this about uh, fills. Auto sum, I think I'm not done. Yes, formula we have to start. Now we will go with the fills option. Fills option is mainly used when we are adding a, a, di a different things. Say I want to create a numbers one. I want a continuation of number one, two, three, till 10, 20, like that. You can click and drag. Click and drag till wherever you want. But see, everything is coming in one as well. Again, let's see one. Then again, I will do click and drag. One, two, three series. Still, it shows me one. Then what you have to do in this fill series option, you have this plus mark. Can you see here? When you go for this, there is one auto mark, auto fills. Now you have an option here as fill series. Select this fill series. Automatically, the numbers will be filled. Other than that, excuse me you have one more option type the first number type the second number select this both the cell click and drag till the wherever you want till wherever you want till there you can select it okay then next one suppose i want some other even numbers or numbers that also you can give even numbers and odd numbers see this will apply a uh, fill series will apply 
only when there is a continuation number is having a continuation days are having a continuation years are having a continuations month is having a continuation so it will apply for only for these things if you want for some other things which is not continued for those things you have to customize it okay now let me give you a ask even numbers one three sorry odd numbers so i'm selecting this two we will click and run. any other multiple series you want to give say like 11 table 22 so like this i can also click this and drag it it is not only vertical you can also do it this vertically also so 22 so vertical now i'm doing this horizontally also horizontally also if you want you can try this so it will add like this also it will come vertically down vertically up horizontal left horizontally right any side you will click and drag that side you will be getting okay other than this if i want a sunday monday that is a uh, weeks weeks i can give you a sunday full form i'm giving here i just need to double click on this i'm getting this suppose i'll give it in a short form i'll just give it in a short form s u n sunday so there's also again i'll double click on this till i'm getting this suppose i need a month so i'll give you a as january january i'll click this double click so i got this month short form if i want to give i can give the short form also then also you can apply like this okay suppose you want to use some other thing suppose this is 2000 24 i want to give the next year like this or continuation i can just click and drag but continuously i'm getting 2024 itself you can go here and take it as fill series automatically the fill series will apply so wherever there is a continuation this method you can apply till wherever you want you can click and drag okay then suppose i'm applying here a bold i'm applying here italic I'm applying here underline okay let me give you the different font different font style then for this I'm giving a different font size okay so for this I'll give a different font color and bold then i'll apply a different uh, background color so in case if i want to remove all these things by default how it was a calibri default size 11 then you can see it. clear formats clear formats will help you to remove the formats but i have selected only this for that so select all Control a go for this clear formats so everything formatting is been removed control z you are getting here clear formats will remove only all the formatting now control z again then i have here clear content clear content it will remove all the contents without removing a format control z again okay next one here what i have clear hyperlink and comment so we have not used this so we do not have here clear all entire thing with the formatting will be done so control z if you want to clear any of this you can do it then here next one control a select all control a is used for select all so select all control a find find is used for control f replace replace control h go to go to any sheet go to any cell go to any table in that case so now shortcut key here is control g so now what we will do i'll go for this uh, fills itself fills i'll rename this as fills okay now in this i want to find out wherever there is a friday control f or i want to find out wherever there is a sunday 
Sunday. Only in this sheet if you are finding sheet. If you want to find out in entire workbook, you can go for workbook. Work with all the sheets. I am only finding in this sheet. Find next. So it will show you wherever it is. Find next. Find next. Find next. Okay. So this is how you will be searching this. Find next. Suppose I want to replace the Sunday as sunday as weekend control edge so since i've already searched as sunday by default you have this if not you can type here as sunday then you can replace it with week end okay find next so i want to replace this replace it find next so this i'm not replacing it is going for the next one even this i don't want to replace find next so we'll go for this one if I want to replace all the Sundays, click on this. Then, okay. So, two things was there. So, one, two, and three. All the three has been replaced. Now, you can close this. So, find Control F, replace Control H, select all, Control E. Clear. Then, we have to go for the next tab, which is Insert. Insert this, I'll come in at last because this will be related to Tableau which we are going to work on a charts and pivot tables. So, I'll do this at last. Page layout, I'm not doing this because we have already worked with the margins, orientation, size, paper area, print area, everything. This is related to your printing settings. Then now we will directly go into formulas. Formulas. Okay, we are going to start with our calculation. So, I'm going to rename this as board mass because this is an important concept of every Excel. The concept here it is board mass. Okay, so what is board mass? Every time you, whenever you start with the mathematical calculation, mathematical calculations or anything, we always use this board mass. What is this board mass is? How we are going to calculate all the formulas is based on this board mass only. Can anyone say what is this board mass is? Can someone abbrevi abbreviate this? Girls? It's the uh, short form for brackets, um, then of, then division, then multiplication, then addition and subtraction. Good. Good, Sukanya. So, is this Isa Yusufa? Okay. Maybe I would have spelled wrongly also, but it is right. Someone has texted it is right. So, it is what it is. It is a bracket. Then our brackets of division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. Yes, very good. So we will see this. So here it comes here as board mass, bracket, order, division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. Brackets, you are calculating within a bracket. Order, that means one bracket to another bracket. So, it can be multiplication, bracket 1 to bracket to multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. It can be anything. Second one is division. Third one is multiplication. Fourth one is addition. Fifth one is subtraction. So, based on this, we will be calculating. This is board mass. Whenever you are applying any formulas or calculations, always this will be applied in this pattern only. Okay, suppose you want to calculate 2 plus 2 into 5 minus 1. So, what will happen? 2 plus 2 into 5. Into 5 when you are calculating, what will happen here? First, it will see whether there is some formula within your bracket. There is no formula within a bracket. Bracket to bracket, is there anything? Nothing. Do we have a division? Nothing. Do we have a multiplication? Yes. So that is 2 into 5 equals to 2 into 5. 2 into 5. So you got an answer 10. Then after multiplication, I have an addition. Addition is 2 plus 2. So equals to 10 plus 2. So it is 12. Then I have a subtraction minus 1. So equals to 12 minus 1. 1. So, it is 11. Let's apply this together. Equals to 2 plus 2 into 5 minus 1. So, it is 11. 
okay so first it will see within bracket within this or any calculation according to that it will be calculating so see let's calculate here open a bracket 2 plus 2 close the bracket then again i open one more bracket i'm not saying whether it is plus or minus so i'll give here as uh, multiplication or we will say divide it okay division then i'll give here as open bracket i'm giving here 10 plus 20 close the bracket okay into 5 minus 1 okay this is what i need to calculate so now what will happen equals to 2 plus 2 first it will calculate 2 plus 2 is a 4 right then it will calculate 10 plus 2 equals to within a bracket calculation it is so 10 plus 20 so it is 30 so within bracket within bracket it is done bracket to bracket we have to do so it is what 4 equals to 4 divided by 30 so it is this into 5 into 5 so it is equals to equals to this into 5 so you have this value minus 1 so this minus 1 equals to the selected value cell minus 1 so this is the value suppose here i am changing here instead of 20 plus 60 so 20 plus 60 so what is this division so 80 divided by 30 so this is what you will be getting as output same thing we will try here equals to open a bracket 20 plus 60 close the bracket divide it with 10 plus 20 close the bracket into 5 minus 1 this is the answer see that means we have calculated wrong 20 plus 60 is 80, okay. 10 plus 20 is 30, okay. Equals to 80 divided by 30, 2.66. So, equals to 2.66 into 5, 13 minus, sorry, equals to 13.33 minus 1. So, 12.33, yes, it is right now. So, this is how you will be calculating all the functions board mass. So, always board mass will, will be applied based on this formatting. Okay. So, let's do some other calculations also. First, we will do addition. I'll take some student's name. Subject 1, Subject 2, Subject 3, Subject 4, Subject 5 and then Subject 6. I'll give the names. So I just gave few names. Let me just use the same thing. I just used the cotton names. If you want, you can give your own names also. Okay. Then I will give you a values. Rand between. 
random between uh, any values you want to give i'll give 20 to 95 this is the value i'm going to use drag this till this for subject one and expand it to subject six also copy this value paste it as values Control c Control alt v select as values paste it as values done now i'll select this entire thing apply all the borders done okay now what i want to do i want to apply a, a formatting so i'll give some colors for this so i'll take here as fill colors dark blue and i'll take font color here as white make this as bold so after this after the subject six next one i'm taking i need to make a total total end so by default the previous formatting will be done so what we are going to do addition but there is something related to addition we are going to see different methods of addition I'll show you all the met possibilities methods, but in this which methods we are going to use, this also I'll show you. Okay, different methods of addition. So total, first one is, I'll just leave this blank so that I can show you the other methods here. Okay, so the second method is using um, plus sign. So this is what commonly we use it when we start with an Excel without knowing any formulas. So, using plus sign. So, here I start equals to. So, you can type here as 31 plus like that. But I am not doing, doing that equals to. I will go. See, you can use the arrow keys to go, go through the left side, right side, up, down, anything. I will be using the arrow keys. 31 plus 45 plus 76 plus. You just need to select that particular cell then plus 36 plus 72. All the subjects has been selected if it is. So, 6th subject. After 6th subject, I don't have the next subject. So, no need to give a plus. Directly press enter. So, you will get the total. You will be getting a total. Next method is using comma, comma, right, comma sign. Okay, so now what we do equals to, but we are not directly selecting this. You have to give a syntax by starting sum. Now you can see your syntax is that number one comma number two comma number then there is a continuation. So go for number one comma number two comma that is the third subject comma fourth subject then fifth subject comma then a sixth subject. I'm just using an arrow keys. Remember, I'm just using an arrow keys. Okay, arrow keys and then comma directly. I'm just using so you got this thing. Now next one. The same function using the range using range selecting using range selection so what we will do equal to sum go to the first subject hold a shift key select the till the last subject six subject subject one to subject six close the bracket then press enter you got this this is the total this is the total you are getting here fine so the next one is we will use ins by inserting a function using insert function. Okay, now I'll go with this equals to. So I'm not using any equals to directly you can click on this insert function. So insert function on the home tab you have fx. You can click on this or you have the same option in a formula tab insert function here also you can click now what i need to do i need to use a function sum you need to type here sum and click on this go all the sum related functions you will be getting here so what you are going to do you have to apply this sum function sum function click on this so here there are two method two method so what we are doing i'm showing you two methods also so first one subject one then second place subject two then the third place subject three okay it is d, 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 d. 
Okay. Okay. Then subject three. Then it is subject four. You have to select this subject four. Subject four. Then you have to go for subject five. Then you have to go for next one. Okay. After this subject five. Press tab button. You will get one more thing. Subject five. Then subject six. Subject six. Can you see here? You will be getting the options here. So D twenty is fifty two. Fifty two. So D twenty is fifty two. Okay, seventy one. So I didn't select this fifty seven. I think so. We will add one more option here. I'll press a tab here. Then I'll select this sixty. Okay. Plus sixty. Now see sixty plus seventy one plus sixty one plus forty four plus fifty seven. All the subjects has been selected. I'll click on this. Okay, so we'll get that. Since this is difficult, you can also use in another method insert function. I have to search for some. I can click on this. I can select the sum function. Instead of selecting this, I'll directly select the range from subject one to subject five. Then click on OK. So before clicking on this OK, you can see all the numbers it is here itself. Click on OK now. You got this total. So using insert function one by comma one by one with the range two we have done. Okay. Then what we will do? We will use auto sum. Auto sum. So you have to just place your cell here. So see here. Here you have one option auto sum. The same thing you will find it in home also auto sum here also. Okay, so you just need to click on this. But see, the range which is selecting is wrong. When it is wrongly selected, you have to select the right selection. Enter. And for this auto sum, there is one shortcut key also. Auto sum, there is one shortcut key. So the shortcut key is Alt plus equals to. Alt equals to is a shortcut key. I press here Alt equals to. So the range has been selected. Enter. Okay, I'll remove this. Now I'm doing here Alt equals to. The range is selecting wrong because before to this there is already certain formulas has been applied, so it is not selecting it. But when I do in the first cell Alt equals to, see the exact range is getting selected. But I do here after the, all the formulas has been applied, wrong range has been selected. When it is wrongly selected, you have to select this particular range correctly. Then you have to press Enter. That is what you have the changes here. So in all this method, which method we will be using? If you ask me, we will use this using a range. Using a range is one method, and auto sum and alt equal to is the another method. These are the three methods which we will be using in order to calculate most of the time, right? Most of the time we will only use this method. We are not using any other methods. Does anybody has a doubt in this calculation part? Fine. Others? Sukanya says no. Good. I got two replies at least this time. So next one, what we will do? We will do a subtraction. I'll come to addition again later, but now we will just do subtraction. So in subtraction, I'll take here as product, product name, product name, COGS. So COGS, cost of goods sold. Then I'll go with the sales, or you can say it as revenue. Revenue. I want to know my profit. So I'll take this product name here. As HDD, SDD, pen drive, then RAM, ROM, CD, DVD, monitor, or let me take here as VDU, Visual Display Unit. 
mouse, keyboard, speaker, few keys are taken. Now I'll give a values here equals to rand between random between i'll give the values 100 to 200 close bracket enter expand this now here revenue i'll give you as rand between 150 to 500 i'll close the bracket enter Okay, let me select this all, Control C, Control Alt V, then paste it as values. Now we will calculate the revenue. So that is profit equals to, there is no particular formula for subtraction. We do not have any formula for subtraction. So we will only use which one? We will use a sign here. So it is revenue minus COGS. Revenue minus COGS will give you a profit. It is equals to revenue minus COGS cost of goods sold will give you a profit if there is somewhere a minus sign if there is somewhere a minus sign or any values within a bracket that means it is a loss so now you can apply the conditional formatting I want to highlight the value whichever is less than zero less than zero so go for conditional formatting highlight the rest rule less than less than what zero i want to highlight it in a red color okay done so that means this is a loss so you can apply in this way so we have a subtraction next one i'll take the same product name so that we will use it for the next calculation okay now i will do a multiplication In this multiplication, I have a product names. We just need to apply here the number of quantity and total amount. So, or you can take six sales points. So here I give the quantities equals to rand between uh, 50 comma 100 close bracket enter. This is, these are the units I have. Now sales price I have to take equals to rand between I am taking the values from 900 to uh, 2000. 2000 close the bracket end. So I am just randomly taking the values. Now I will copy this. Copy this. Paste it as values. Paste as values. Done. Now I want to know what is the revenue. Revenue. So that is multiplication. First method you can just select anything. Sales price into quantity into quantity or you can also do quantity into revenue anything is fine quantity into sales price this also can do the third method is you can use a function called product product so you just need to select the two range close the bracket enter so you have a function also that is equals to product product then you can select this range close the bracket enter right Done. now you can expand this now after this i want to know what is my total revenue i want to know my total revenue multiplication is easy but i need total revenue so i'll use here alt equals to so by default the range has been selected done why can't i do in an next another method i can use another method also here i'll select this as a heading i'll apply this done i want to do in another method so what i will do equal to add this sum sum of what quantity i will take so this is total quantity now i will take here next one total sales price so here equals to sum of sum of all the sales price total we will do now we need a total revenue. Total revenue for this equals to total quantity into total sales price. See, I'm getting a wrong value. Wrong value. Okay, or you can say this, I'll expand this. This is the value I'm getting. 
okay this is not matching with the say example i'll tell you here equals to i'm saying this value is equals to this value so true or false it says me false let me do in another method i want the total revenue itself but i'm not doing here this total quantity and total sales price i'll use another method here that is the other method is <coughs> some product equals to some some product so what this will do it will multiply the individual line of things and totally it will make a addition so first one array array one that is my quantity column comma has to multiply with the sales price and then respectively i need a total also close the bracket enter so now see i'm getting this and this i'll tell here equals to this is equals to the previous cell what we have done so it is true right so both are true so here you are finding one uh, one function here the formula here we are learning here as total revenue you have learned one more formula here product and you have one more formula here as some product these are the three things we are learning here okay so instead of finding total revenue after multiplication i can directly total like this so let me take the another one i'll take this itself as a product the next part we are going with the division division so now for this i have a total amount total amount or i have a purchase value or take it as cost i have a cost and i have a number of quantity i want to know cost price that is purchase rate right let me give you as random values between 1000 to 2000 close the bracket end then i will expand this till where i need then i'll take a quantity equals to rand between rand between what we will take 50 okay Five zero. I'm taking here as five zero, comma nine zero. So this is the quantities I'm taking. Copy this, control and paste it as values. Now I need to find out the cost price. See, I need to apply the same color for this. So I'll select this one. Format Painter. I got a brush sign. I'll apply for all this thing. So I got this. Now I will find out the cost price equals to the total cost divided by divided by this one so number of quantity the cost per unit is 15 there is no particular formula there is no particular formula for your division you will have to divide it with the sign itself i'll expand this since i don't want too many decimal values i'll reduce here i have an option here as decrease decimal values i'm decreasing here so the decimal values has been decreased so cost price of each unit is 15 so here there is an individual cost price for every product clear so there is no particular formula for subtraction and there is no formula for division you have a formula only for addition and multiplication for addition you have it as sum for multiplication, you have it as product. To add and multiply together, you have a formula as some product. Is it clear? Any doubts still here? Anybody? Okay. Samiha says no. Sukanya no. Good. <coughs> Fine. 
let me go for the next one so i'll use the first problem what we have calculated with the students names and this thing okay i'll take all this data copied let me ask you do you want to try along with me or uh, first i'll calculate later you will refer a video what do you want me to do will you practice later or you will do along with me from means because since we are starting with the formulas i'm asking you will you do along with me or you will do it later by referring the videos fast reply me good along with me so can you type this data now if i give you time for 5 minutes everyone okay take 5 minutes just take down this data just do the same data my uh, you can use a random values later we can if you want you can change the numbers and refer it i just want you to type this numbers now okay we are going to find here the total then the least score then the highest score okay least score highest score then a average score start typing this I'll give you five minutes. Now it is seven thirty-three. I want you to finish before four uh, seven forty. Before seven forty. I'm placing this on mute. I'll check this after five minutes. If you're putting anything on a chat box, if you want to reply me, you can. Right? You can reply me. Why? If I am not checking your. chat box you can see this later i'm just opening this Mom.
is it done everyone did you all finish typing last column is left okay just do it fast ma Done, ma'am. Okay, fine. Let's continue then now. So this time, since we already seen about addition method, so directly we will use a range equals to sum open a bracket equals to sum open a bracket. Go to the first subject using the uh, arrow marks, arrow mark keys. Then hold the shift key, select till the last subject, close the bracket, and then press enter. I'm doing once again. Equals to sum. Open a bracket. Go to the first subject. Go to the first subject. After first subject, hold the shift key. Select one by one till the last subject. Six subjects. Close the bracket and then press enter. You can try this. Then you just need to just double click here. Double click here. It will just expand till whatever the data you have. Try this fast. I'll give you two minutes. Once it is done, just let me know if you have done. Done. Good. So next one, least score. I in this from subject one to subject six, I want to know which is the least score, lowest score. So for that, we will be using this. So least means it is a minimum. So min. So what it does? returns the smallest number in a set of a values and it also ignores logical value logical means greater than lesser than equals to not equals to like this and the text if there is any text like a true false a absent present this and all it will ignore and it will give you okay so like now minimum minimum open a bracket the same concept subject one to subject 6 you have to select close the bracket enter same thing equals to min minimum open a bracket from subject 1 you just need to select till subject 6 from subject 1 you will select here till subject 6 close the bracket then press enter so it will show you the least so just expand this then you will get all the lowest score here Okay, next one also I'll finish this and you can try both the least and highest score. So highest means the more, whichever is the greatest score equals to, equals to highest one. I need a highest one. So what I'm doing here, max. So it returns the largest value max. So here again go for the subject one. From subject one to subject six you select it, close the bracket and again I'm doing equals to max. Open the bracket, go to subject one. From subject 1 to subject 6, you select, close the bracket. Subject 1 to subject 6, you have to select, close the bracket, and then you can expand this. Try this.
Done. Good. So next one, we will go for average. What is average here? So the total score, how you used to do? So 461 divided by 600 into 100 this is what you will do. Right. If you are going to use an average calculation, overall aggregated values, if you want to find, you will do like this. So 76.33 or you will do one more method equals to 769 divided by 6 subjects. So you will get the same score. So here we are using a function average. Okay. You have to type it completely average. There is no short form for average. You need to type it completely. Complete text you have to type it average. Then I will select your subject 1 to subject 6. Close the bracket. Equals to average. Subject 1 to subject 6 you select it. Close the bracket. And see I got the same value. Let me do for the second one. Equals to average. So you have to do from subject 1 to subject 6. Close the bracket. Okay. Close the bracket. So you will get an average for this. You can expand this. After expanding I don't want too many decimal values. See, there are few places I have only two decimals, one decimal. There are no decimals also. So, let me remove this, all the decimal values. If you want to keep it two decimal values, you can keep that also. So, I am keeping two decimal values. So, you can try this. Done. Good. So, So, this problem is based on the mathematic function, okay, or integers functions. Okay, next we are going to do with the logical function. Logical, so I will start this logical function tomorrow. Okay, in this logical functions we will be discussing if and or and multiple nested function advanced functions we will be discussing in this based on this three we will have a more advanced function so i'm stopping till this board mass and the integers functions we will discuss the remaining functions one by one later from the next up upcoming classes okay does anyone has a doubt for today's class girls no ma'am okay good two replies fine uh, so you can practice all those things if somebody didn't try try to do it please practice this from tomorrow you can try along with me one by one one i'll be giving you some time also to practice yourself clear so this is for today we are wind up in our class tomorrow we will continue that's all for today bye everyone take care <laughs>